You know, there is something about these videos that bothers me that I have not figured out yet. And it's that no matter how hard you try, you can never really be 100% authentic here. You can never be 100% authentic with showing your art process. Even if you go in it with the full intention of being your very true self. No matter what you do, your video is still going to be a curated perspective on the process. You know, washing your hair and getting dressed and cleaning up your studio. Even if you want to keep it as true as possible, you're still probably going to do those things. While... I don't know about others. Of course, this is not the case for everyone. But at least for me. Often, when I make art, and I'm just by myself making art, I do not look very presentable. I don't have my hair washed. My house is a mess. My studio is a mess. I'm not wearing clothes in which I necessarily want people to see me in. I am just... In the process, I'm making something. I do not have the desire to make myself look a certain way from the outside. You know, I'm just doing my thing. But for the videos, for the videos, of course I want to wash my hair. Of course I'm going to brush it, even maybe. I'm going to put different clothes on. I'm not going to get super fancy, because I still don't want to get like paint on myself and all of that, but... I'm going to look a bit more decent than I usually do. (laughs) I don't know, making art is often such a private process. You know, it's not meant for others' eyes. It's not meant to be seen. But then you also make videos about it, so you kind of put an observer next to you. And no matter how hard you try, that's still going to affect you. Yeah, and that's just something for me to figure out I suppose I try to be authentic I try to be myself but it's still a long way to go then I have the problem of like okay I want to make a video but also my house is a mess I'm a mess Uh, the the surroundings don't fit the mood that I'm actually want to go for in the video and then I'm stuck I can't make the video so I have to decide between making art or making the video because I can't always do both because I don't have the energy to clean up all the time. I don't have the energy to make myself presentable. I also often don't want to do it. So I can't... There are a lot of art processes which I would like to show more but that I haven't shown more because they 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 stay behind the camera for the reasons that I mentioned. Now I am going to work on my sketchbook. I am going to watch a series and I'm going to sketch... Because the sketchbook is going so fast, actually. And it's going so well. And I am excited to make a video about it. And that's even a sort of a motivation to work on it more. And because I'm not painting at the moment, because things feel a bit too stressful, and I'm also going to leave for uh, Portugal in September, it feels like there's no point in starting a painting. It's just going to add stress, even though I really want to paint. Um... So I'm I'm doing a sketchbook and this is how it often looks like when I do a sketchbook uh, and when I do a sketchbook when I'm sketching. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just rambling and thinking about how it's fucking hard. I think any videos that you watch where artists like in the studio working, it's still a curated image. It's still not 100% true. This is not what they're going to look like. This is not how they're going to dress. I mean, some some do, of course. But still, I don't know. I feel like a lot stays hidden. A lot of the process, a lot of the um, truth behind it. I don't know if I can break that wall somehow and maybe make it more truthful. I guess I'll try, but I am trying.
So, for example, now I would want to show you the process of me working on the sketch, but I can't really do it because I can't be... I showed a tiny bit, right? But I can't always be holding the camera there because it's on the bed. It's uncomfortable. It gets in the way. Like, it's much more convenient for me if I can just take the sketchbook, move it around, move myself around. Of course, I could sit down at a table, set up the lights, set up a camera and draw. But that wouldn't be real because that's not how I want to be doing it right now. I want to be doing it here. So you're kind of always faced with this choice of um, am I just going to be doing something for myself, you know, for fun? Uh, or do I want to use it in a later video? Am I going to talk about this? Do I need footage of me working on this thing? And it's that's, that's an annoying part of these videos. I don't always like it. I wish I could always just do it and not think about it. But on the other hand, I do want to be making these videos. And I do want to have footage of the process. I do want to do it. But then I also just want to be myself and I just want to draw in bed and I don't want to look a certain way. I don't want to set things up in a certain way. I just want to do it. So it's kind of like, how do you handle it? How do you... Well, the way I handle it is that I sometimes film and very often I don't film. There's a lot of process that stays behind that doesn't get on camera. Um, and you could say that there are a lot of opportunities I miss for creating videos because I choose instead to just do them and focus on the actual art and not the videos themselves but I don't know somewhere really lost and there's no right or wrong here it's just something that I battle with for these videos and that's that's what I wanted to share that's it I'm so excited about the sketchbook. I think I'll be finishing soon. I thought it was going to take me forever because it has like 60 pages or something. Like it's pretty thick. But I am working a lot on it because I'm not painting. So I think I'm going to be done with it before I go to Portugal. So I'm going to record a, a sketchbook tour before I go to Portugal and hopefully upload it in beginning of September, something like that. Um, very exciting, very exciting. Okay, bye-bye.